Dudes, as you can see, we're not in front of the usual full moon. We're in front of the full moon manor here in Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, for those of you who haven't paid attention, we've shot probably 10 of our last 14 movies right here in Cleveland. Amazing place to shoot, awesome crew. And this um, house was purchased for the sole purpose of shooting and using as a home base. So we've shot Baby Oopsie here and uh, Resonator and other stuff. And we're here now because we're shooting our first Christmas themed movie called The 12 Slays of Christmas. Uh, we have Halloween themed movies, we have endless horror and puppets and dolls, you guys have seen many of them, but we've come up with a very cool idea and this show not only is going to shoot in an hour and I'm going to be inside with you for a moment, uh, it also is featuring 10 of our most well-known uh, puppets and characters but kind of shape-shifted into something we're calling the Tiny Terrors. You'll see those next year. It's a whole line of, uh, it's a blind box line that we're coming out with, so check it out later. Remember that at the end of this 10 minutes or whatever it winds up being, we're gonna give away three free Jester replicas. So uh, stick around. And also remember we have our awesome Halloween sale going on right now. It ends uh, the day after Halloween. It's been a big success so far and we've got about 80% of everything gone, okay? so. There's some left because we get emails saying, do you have a blade left? Do you have a jester left? Well, we do have some left. So that's it. Check it out. Dudes, we're now inside on this freaking amazing set and I am uh, really suffering having to sit here with four incredibly <laughs> gorgeous women. You can't say chicks anymore, right? It's not good. You can good. say chicks. Yeah, yeah really? Yeah, it was yeah. Chicks, yeah. chicks, women. <laughs> so, so um, we're on the set of the 12 Slaves of Christmas and I'm not gonna reveal much because it's so cool and it's gonna be out obviously before Christmas so you don't have that long to wait. But we have three uh, actresses, actors who are in the show and, and the first three you're seeing, I'm gonna introduce them in a minute. And by just pure coincidence, Robin Sidney, the Kendra of Barbie and Kendra just happens to be in town. So there you go. <laughs> so, yeah, you have to see the movie to understand that. So starting over there um, on your right is Lauren Ann Smith. Hi, I'm Lauren. Lauren is, is awesome and uh, she was also in Giantess Battle Attack. It was a great time. Uh, as, it was so fun. <laughs> as the reporter who briefly is talking about the big giant chicks beating the crap out of each yeah. other. So give us just a moment about you, because I'm going to do this with everyone so we all have a chance to know you a little bit in yeah. this 10-minute quickie thingy. Cool. My name is Lauren. I am from a small town in North Carolina. Um, I was raised on a farm. A farm? Yeah. A farm. Yeah, it's a farm. We were talking last <laughs> night and, and you milk cows and squeeze yeah, the thingies. Yeah, I taught them and... how to milk the thingies. Cow. <laughs> time so I I lived on the farm pretty much my whole life I moved to Florida when I was 25 right wow. yeah, and I've been in Florida well I've been bouncing back and forth from Florida North Carolina ever since but yeah and you like a super influencer and yes. your specialty is influencing um, commercial is really my main thing commercial okay. acting modeling prints I'm getting more into the movies I love them Shout out to Kobe for that one. Yeah, my main thing is mainly commercial. Though. Okay, yeah. but as an influencer, don't you specialize in one sort of genre? The weeds. <laughs> the weeds. <laughs> the weeds. <laughs> so we specialize in influencing weeds. I do. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. could you? Would you? Because I'm yeah. sort of not smart with this. Would you say you're a weed influencer? I would say that. Yeah. Is that kind of what yeah. they would say today? A lot of people see me as that. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, just yeah. Yeah, the weed. That's influencer. what people call it today, right? It's yeah. Not right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Weed. Works for weed me. influencer. Okay. Yeah. Well, moving on yeah. to <laughs> to Dare Taylor, who has also been in a couple of our shows. Yeah. Right. The last the last one being also a Giantess Battle Attack, and the one before was <laughs> Evil Bong. 888. 888. Don't forget, we made a lot of them. Yes, yes. 888 Evil Bong with Evie. Uh, <laughs> hi, I am Dare Taylor. I am commonly known on the internet as a cosplay singer, actress, goofball, Cody's BFF. <laughs> uh, I was born and raised in Minnesota, so Minnesota roots over here. 
Um, yeah, I moved to California to pursue acting, and my friend Cody here hooked it up with introducing me to Full Moon and Charlie. He always can I call you Charlie? Uh, well, Charles, no, Charlie. Just don't call me Chuck. All right, no Chuck. Here. No Chuck. Okay. That's such a crap name. Charlie. Is it? Like Chuck. Aww, I like You'll it. never I like meet it. a Chuck. Oh, that Chuck. Because there are Chucks that are awesome. I'm sure. Aww. But <laughs> continue on. <laughs> but yeah, I moved to LA. Been acting for a while now, and I still do influencing as well, full time. I'm right. known primarily for cosplay, so I like to dress up as different anime characters, Disney characters, anything superheroes that you can think of. I like to dress up as them and act like them. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> so that's actually that pretty pretty cool. So I'm yeah. just curious. So the cosplay thing, mm -hmm. which I go, I've not seen either. So I'm sort of in my bubble. I don't mm. know. I mean, I hear the word. I understand what it is. But you shoot your cosplay sort of characters like at a studio or in your home. Where do you actually dress up to be these characters? Anywhere and everywhere. Mm -hmm. So usually I will build a character in my home. So I'll like assemble all the pieces, double check the wig, contact lenses, do all the things at home. And then sometimes I'll take it outside to do a photo shoot, but my favorite is to take it to conventions and then get to meet the fans of that character or the fans of myself. So you guys should know that obviously the girls flew in from Los Angeles, Florida. So when Cody, who we'll talk to in a moment, oh. and Dare flew in, I don't know how to best describe what they look like, but they were dressed in like kind of, I don't know. Onesies. Like, onesies. Onesies. Yeah, it's one piece. Yeah, but you look like like little playthings children play with. Like, yeah, I was like, a skeleton, right. and she was. I was Psyduck from Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it I like look, it look ridiculous. I mean, don't people say something on the plane or anything? Or? Yeah, I loved it. They thought we were look great. Yeah, people kept saying we like your pajamas, and we're like they're costumes. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, all right. So Cody, we have a big history. Yes. Spiel away a little bit. Okay, my name is Cody Renee Cameron. <laughs> I now am associate producing for Full Moon, which Woo! I'm absolutely obsessed with. So I got to bring these lovely ladies here. Ow, ow. And um, yeah, I started, uh, oh gosh, almost like eight years ago. And now I think I've been in like eight or nine projects probably. Right. Incredible. Um, awesome. So excited for the 12 Slaves of Christmas. In fact, I'm like getting a wig so that I look a little different in this one instead That's of my usual cool. big That's blonde cool. hair. Um, yeah, and then we have our Barbie and Kendra <laughs> tragedy. Um, <laughs> kissing <and I>. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm an actress. Um, most recently, no. what? <laughs> what? No. I know. No way. No. Um, most recently, you can find me as a recurring on the Mayans, the most recent season, and hopefully Woo. I'm getting written into the next season. We so, see. And, uh, yeah. and it's amazing that Kendra, Rob, and Cindy just happened to be here. Because yeah. you guys made the Barbie and Kendra movies. I'm very proud of. We shot them during the pandemic. They were one day shoots, and they ra we wrapped that material, material around well-known older movies and we completely threw out the track and put in really funny dialogue contemporary we made fun of the whole covid situation because the first movie was called corona zombies and we released that literally the first few months of the pandemic and and cody's uh, uh, character was really ditzy and she thought one of the things you had to do was take a shower fully dressed so <laughs> we, we, we wrapped all this stuff and so a lot of people thought you know, it sucked not that it wasn't very funny, but a lot of people got the humor. But now that it's been a few years, it's way funnier because now we're sort of yeah. past this. Mm -hmm. So you watch it now, and it's like, oh, that is so clever and funny and silly. <laughs> totally, more or less. Sure. Fat soup jokes and toilet paper jokes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's silly. And we had a real Corona zombie. Yeah, we did. yeah, we did. he was scary. He was awesome, but awesome. And and scary you came in, uh, Robin <laughs> Sydney. You came in on the second one, right? Yeah. Well, I you was were, like just a phone call away on the first one. Oh yeah, you were talking. So we had like a combo. But then really, yeah, we dived in on the the second and one. And your characters are both so like fun. really intelligent, like rocket science. And we have right? like mm -hmm. big, <laughs> awesome brains. They're a little <laughs> lower than our head. That's right. <laughs> That's exactly correct. And on the second <laughs> one, uh, it was the Tiger King. Yes. Yeah, yes. that was so fun with John Ranke. Yep. He came, we got to do an interview with him on Zoom, which was super fun. And then he came back in Evil Bong and yes. he brought and we us got to meet Tiger Whiskers. Tiger Whiskers! Oh, like in his so. hat, he carried them all the way on the airplane. Yeah, he's like, I brought these all the way from wherever in the middle yeah. to bring them to you, so sweet. Yeah. And by the way, in case you're wondering, off camera, we're kind of off camera, are, are these girls like that? They are right now. This They are. <laughs> This is it. There's no action involved at all. Zero. They but are we're intelligent. <laughs> we're <Barbie> intelligent. <laughs> we are smart. So, okay, well, that's awesome. And then I'm going to bring you guys up to date with a few full moon things. 
and then we're going to have to cut because they have to shoot. They start shooting literally in an hour. Right There's a wonderful, creepy character who's not here, um, who brings them into this, what seems like a very sweet home. Is the snow working? No snow. Yeah, there's a little, <laughs> little snow. snow. If you saw it for a moment, there's actually it's snow, but it's not really snow. Right now, it's like a hot day in Cleveland, so <laughs> we didn't get lucky with Cleveland snow. So anyway, a couple things. We got uh, the second part of uh, the Rob Zombie Freak Show interview, which was amazing, spending time uh, with Rob. That's on Thursday, so check that out. Last week, I did one uh, with Ted Nicolau, who he and I go back 40-odd years. You know, Ted made movies like Terrorvision all the subspecies movies. He just came back from Serbia where we shot the fifth subspecies film, which turned out super well. That's coming out January, February. And then on Friday, we have shot in this very house, Full Moon Manor, and other locations in Cleveland. We have Puppet Master Dr. Death premiering on Full Moon features. So uh, if you're a subscriber, check it out. All these movies eventually come out on Tubi, on YouTube, and on Amazon, but they always premiere first on Full Moon Features. And that's my segue to say, sign up to Full Moon Features because it supports everything. It's a dollar and pennies a week, so it's not expensive. And if you sign up for a year, we now have four options, four different things you'll get for free. And each one of these things are way more valuable than the $59.95 it costs you to sign up for the week. So by memory, one of them is the, uh, the 12 Blu-ray box set of all the Puppet Master films. And that's pretty cool. intense. That's $150, $60 value. Or you can select 12 Blu-rays or DVDs, which is another almost $200 value. Or you can get the Evil Bong Stash Box, which is a very unique box that has all nine Evil Bong movies in it, except for 888. Oh, ah, somehow so... we have to slip that in somewhere, I'm not sure. Because <laughs> the Stash Box was designed before we shot the movie. Oh. And apropos your expertise, it's called the Evil Bong Stash Box. It's really beautiful. You open it up, it's got color and art, and you have the mm -hmm. nine Blu-rays, because okay. there's a ninth movie, actually, which was uh, Ginger Dead Man versus Evil Bong. Mm -hmm. I hope oh, I'm doing cool. this right, because there's nine discs, that I know. <laughs> but then on either side, there's an empty space for your secrets. That really? is why it's the stash box. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Huh? That's, another, that's a $180 <laughs> that's cool. item that's also free if you sign up. Wow. And then last but not least, we have the Diana Prince Sexy Six Pack. About half of those are gone now. So Diana came in, she's a fantastic friend of Full Moon. She um, is signing and everyone is signed and numbered. There's only a thousand. You can't buy them anywhere. We're only giving them away free if you sign up for Full Moon Features. So that's the shtick. We have the Halloween sale. I know there's something I'm forgetting. I have no idea. The thing, that's the action. sale, awesome. <laughs> uh, oh yes, no, no. Trivia. Trivia. So oh, yes. every week, as you guys know, we do a trivia question. And um, last week, the answer for last week's trivia question was Evil Bong 777. And the winners were Philippe Resnitsky, Sergio Nuno, Brandon Corlin, and Chris Batsikalupo. Woo! Yeah. Chris, yeah. Chris, I hope I said your name right. Okay. <laughs> Batsikalupo. That as it, it must be an Italian name, and I grew up in Italy. Batsikalupo kind of sounds like a crazy fox, kind of. So you have to let me know. Write me an email. Write me emails, guys. It's been a lot of fun getting them. We've got over a thousand now, having done this now. This is our fifth or sixth time. And finally, this week's trivia question, um, in which case, if you win, you get a free jester replica. The question is, Andre Toulon put the soul of his murdered friend, magician and practical joker, Hans Siedermann, into the body of jester. In which Puppet Master film is this origin story first revealed? That's it, that's the question. Uh, please send the email to uh, charlie at fullmoonfeatures.com. And uh, again, all your emails have been amazing. I appreciate it. We've also had about 500 people sign up over the last few weeks for yearly subscriptions. So first, thank you. And it's also cool because all 500 of you are getting free stuff. So uh, thanks for being part of this. And thank you, beautiful girls. I mean, what a job. Look at me. I'm sitting here. Look, I've got to talk to these beautiful Aww. women. So I appreciate it. And Check out the 12 sleighs of Christmas. Yes. It's going to be, for any Full Moon fan, it's going to be super fun. Anyway, ciao. Say bye. Ciao. Bye. bye. bye.